In lesson seven, we drew uh, from the snapper frame, we filled in the fuselage and uh, showed how to draw the formers using the side view uh, projected vertically. And I let's take a closer look at what we've done is I've gone ahead and filled in some more of the details with the 1 8 inch square members. Again, as much or as little as you want is a combination of strength and uh, weight. The wing is just the uh, side view of the rib to show where it fits into the saddle. I've got the engine over here, so what we're going to do now is make a few comments on the fuselage, draw the wing saddle, and um, give, it, give you just a preview of how to use a curve tool. First of all, let's take a look at the top view of the fuselage. This is a very good case of where you can draw something uh, just with half of it, then use the mirror command. We'll go ahead and do that right now. We'll select this top view. We will use the um, vertex for the snap. We'll click the mirror command, and when we go to this line and this center line right here, escape, you can see it's a very easy way to draw the two fuselage halves. And this line uh, was just used as a uh, turn point. Uh, we did two with the mirror command. We go ahead and hit delete a second time, and there is the fuselage. And it's a relatively easy matter just to clean up the back with lines. I can show you real quick. You just draw a line here, a line here, and then the trim um, with the um, split entities is needed to clear that up. Now, here's the side view of the fuselage. I'd like to show you quickly how we draw the wing saddle. I drew a line here, and this section right in here is 1 8 inch balsa, uh, where the wing goes in for the saddle. And it's very easy to copy this, cut away the excess parts so they ha have the exact part size for the saddle, uh, for the plan, or someday if you want to have laser cutouts of the parts. So let's go ahead and do that very quickly right now. We'll just select everything around the saddle. We're going to copy, and we'll paste. and get rid of the snap there. It's talking to us. Okay, so let's left click out of there. And what we want to do is just get rid of everything outside of this saddle. So we will click on this line, delete, click, delete, click, delete, and these two we'll click and delete. We'll go ahead and click on this line, get rid of it, and we're trying to get to this portion right here. We will trim this top portion here and here, escape to get out of the trim, and we'll trim this line right here. Now, this is uh, a little bit of a tricky part, how to get rid of the um, curved airfoil. Remember, we clicked on it once. Let's uh, escape and go to the select, the things we're trying to trim. And you can see this is all a group, so what we have to do is select it, and go here and make it not a group, we explode it. And this will allow us to do um, the various trim functions. Now, as I mentioned with the curves, there's a lot of different ways to do the curve. Uh, we'll go ahead and just try to trim it from here. We'll cut here, and that works out good. Escape, we'll go over here. I'm zooming with the track wheel. We'll use this as the trim function, and it's not quite catching it. Let's see where that's going. We'll escape. We'll click to see what it thinks is going on. We'll delete that. We'll try trim one more time. Click here. And we'll just go ahead and make this an entity right here. And that'll work out fine. We'll click, and now we're no longer trimming. We're just deleting the selected lines. Again, with the curves, you just have to experiment with it. We'll select this, nothing to trim, just delete, get rid of the rest of it, delete. With zoom wheel, we go out, we will get rid of this portion, we'll just select it and delete. And here we have the um, very accurate part that is the wing saddle for the airplane because of taking this original part and just stripping away the older pieces. So we'll just put this part over here for now for, for future use. What I want to show you real quickly now is just how we can draw a decorative cowl if you want to do that. The engine is here, the motor. It's a group, so we're just going to slide it over to put it on about where we think it should be on the firewall. And that looks about right for now. What we'll do is, um, again, I just put a little bit of a, of a top uh, 
uh, portion of the cowl here curved, we'll select this uh, line and we'll just pull it out to say about here or so. Now what we are going to do is just draw a curved line from here. Uh, this is where we click on the spline line, a uh, spline tool. We pick vertex and we'll zoom in here. You can see the triangle. We left click to uh, snap to the end of that point. We turn the snap off. Again, the curves, the spline curve, anything. We just left click along here and after a while you'll see uh, just the way that it behaves and we'll go back to the vertex, click here, double click, and there is an example of a um, curve for the cowl. And the one thing to point out, we'll turn off the snaps. Inside the cowl for the drawing needs to be a dashed line because you're looking through the bolts on this. Uh, to do that, just a demonstration, remember this is a group. We have to explode it. Once we've done that, now we can select the individual pieces and just like before, when you go to the um, properties on the pen, we click dashed line right here. Um, I think point one will be okay for that. And then we have the dashed line. You can do that for the remainder of the lines inside. Remember this line, which is a complete line, we're going to zoom in. We will have to split the entity to make sure that it is split. And if we pick the format, pick up this, and we click on here, uh, you can see that the um, dash line is picked up as well. Now the final thing I want to show you on this fuselage uh, is just something simple like the dowels. Okay, we'll take the circle here, we'll uh, mark it, we'll tab over diameter, use 1 8 enter, and we will select that. We'll zoom in just a little bit move it over here. Let's zoom in with the track wheel. It's a 1 8 inch diameter dowel. We can easily put that in here right in the corner. It's a very good place for that. And if you want a corner brace for a balsa, we just take a line, draw it like here, maybe make that 1 8 inch balsa, trim it, and you have escape. Left click, trim, escape. And you can see how you can do additions like the balsa hold downs, etc. So that is completes our discussion of designing the uh, snapper fuselage from the frame and on the next lesson we'll go ahead and talk about drawing the horizontal tail.